Hey team, I wanted to make a quick video to show you a new app I put on the iPad for us to use. Uh, it's this app right here called Audio Tools. Um, you might have seen me using it before on my phone. It's the same one. Um, I'll give you a quick run through real quick of the main features that I use on it. Um, under this section right here called Acoustics, uh, you click on that and then you go over here, you see we have an RTA and an FFT. Um, the RTA is just like the one we have behind the board, um, the real-time analyzer, and um, basically that's the same thing. And this one, and I'll show you another one in a minute, the function is similar. You notice down here on the left you have your octave settings, so you click on that and you can uh, scroll through your different octave settings. Uh, the app's a little weird. To get out of it, you have to click back down here again to get rid of it. Over here you have your delay and your decay time. Um, you can scroll up and down to select that. Again, select down here to get out of it. To get out of an app, you have to make sure that you hit this back arrow up here at the top left. The other one is FFT. I suppose I use this one more just because I like the way it looks better. Um, but same kind of thing. And with both these apps, um, you can you can zoom. You can uh, zoom either way, uh, the X or Y axis. You can uh, scroll up and down. It shows you DB levels up here. Um, and then again down here you have your octave settings. Click on it and select it. Click on it again for it to go away. And over here you have your decay time. Can't see it real well. There we go. Um, you scroll up and down, click it again, go away. Um, this one you can also take screenshots of um, and do some other things. There's also a um, tone generator and stuff, which I'm not sure if you actually use with the iPad or not, but it's there. And then the coolest feature, this is the main reason why I downloaded this. Um, up here under the SPL, um, if you click on this, uh, there, there's a meter, which kind of looks like like the one that we had before. I'm sorry, no it doesn't. The one on my phone does. This one looks different. Um, it's just a meter. But anyways, the main reason I downloaded this app is for this thing down here called the uh, traffic light. And uh, clicking on this brings up this awesome app that we have now, which basically gives us our DB reading. Um, big, so we can see it. So we can set this up um, above the board and we can see it easily. But the nice thing about it is if you go up here under setup, then you set your DB ratings. And it works just like a traffic light does. So, um, on these settings right now when you're above 80 decibels the, the tire screen will turn green when you hit above 94 it's yellow when you hit 96 it turns red so it's an easy indication to say to show you that uh, if you're getting a little hot or whatever with the sound there's also some different weightings right here um, this may change the weight we've been using in the past has been C weighting but I think we may be going to A weighting there's also a uh, the LEQ time I've set mine to 3 I found that works pretty good and it just averages the um, the decibels over, like this one's three seconds, so it's averaged over three seconds um, instead of having to see the numbers jump up and down. And you can adjust that too. That's all under, um, let's see, the, uh, this, where is that one? Clicking on here. Yep, it gives you the different settings. You can scroll through those. Um, anyways, but that's that. Hope you guys uh, get some good use out of it. Um, and just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.